What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. I know I did. I had a fighting rifle and a fighting pistol this weekend with some great students. Uh, great job John, Jim, and Juan. Everybody, you all did excellent work. Uh, but today what I want to talk about is physical fitness because that is one of the four pillars that we've talked about. Uh, I've got a few videos up on them and that's really what we base a lot of our training off of. Uh, proper mindset, situational awareness, skill proficiency, and physical fitness. And I'll be honest, uh, like I've discussed in some other videos, I have let the physical fitness portion of my training uh, go to the wayside a little bit, and I've paid for it. I've put on some weight. I've kind of been struggling out at the range a little bit, but last week was my first week back and working out with Get Right Personal Training. Uh, he's one of the sponsors of the schools. Uh, Mickey Campbell over there does a great job uh, training people, helping people out. And even if you can't make it into the gym, if you're not local to our area, he's got a website, he's got an application you can download. He does online training. The application helps out with that. Uh, he's got college kids that he trains that take pictures of the gym they have access to. And then he sends them the workout based off the equipment that they have through the application for him to still get the training to them. So I highly recommend checking them out. Uh, he's definitely been helping me out a lot. He's the one that's helped me out in previous years with my power lifting. I've got a couple of those videos up in the physical fitness video that I talked about. So go and check those out and kind of see what I've been doing with that. But I'll be honest, I'm not uh, getting back right into the power lifting like I was. Uh, my main objective right now is to get some of this weight off of me. If I've gotten a little too heavy, then what I want to be and really honestly is the heaviest that I've ever been. I'm going to post uh, some pictures of what, it, what I looked like when I started and it's, it's pretty rough. I, I, I don't like being this big. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've ever been this big. So make sure you're getting out and doing something. Uh, for me, I'm not, like I said, I'm not diving back into this hard and heavy. I'm doing three days a week full body workout with finishing up with 75 kettlebell swings and when I say a full body workout I'm doing a circuit type workout where I work my chest my back my shoulders biceps, tries quads and hamstrings and then I'll do that for one set rest a minute another set rest a minute another set rest a minute and then I'll usually take an extra minute and I'll finish out with 75 kettlebell swings now I will be honest, I'm not doing them all together. I'll do 25, rest 30 seconds, 25, rest 30 seconds, 25, and I'm done. And as I progress and start getting a little bit better condition back to what I used to be, I'm going to start intensifying those workouts. And eventually I'm going to go back to probably an everyday type workout where I'm working a body part a day and throwing in some conditioning stuff with that as well. Because I would like to get back to doing some power lifting, you know, one more time before, you know, my bones, my knees, and my joints get too, too old for it. But the reason I wanted to do this video is, if anything, just get out and start walking. Walk a mile. If you don't want to do it every day, that's fine. I'm not telling you to go out and go into this hardcore. And I'll be honest, my diet, I haven't made a lot of changes to my diet you know now i will say I, i've backed off of the amount that i was eating and have started spreading the meals out but i haven't gone super crazy like some keto diet or atkins diet or anything like that i'm not doing that just yet i've tried that stuff going hardcore with it in the past and i'll be honest i don't last long i crash and burn and <laughs> fail miserably and I'm back sitting on the couch eating bonbons like Peggy Bundy with Married with Children. But all I'm saying is, is get out and start, start small and work your way into it. I promise you, if you go balls to the wall, hardcore diet, exercise, and either you've never done it or it's been a really long time since you've done it, you're probably going to crash and burn. So, baby steps. Start out small, start working your way into it. If you're looking for advice or if you're looking for help, reach out to Mickey over at Get Right. Even if you're not local, reach out. 
and tell them, hey, Chris from South Carolina Gun School sent me over here. Trust me, he will be glad to help you out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, some of the other, Mike Lau with us, uh, one of the other instructors, he's gone to Mickey. He lost tremendous amounts of weight and did an excellent job. So I understand life can get in the way. I'm not telling you to go spend eight hours, four hours, two hours in the gym. Right now, my workouts are probably, with warm-up and everything, 30 to 45 minutes, if that. Might not even be that long. But I know if I push it and if I've got to go, I could probably get a really good workout in in about 20 minutes. It can be done. But you have to be willing to get yourself up off the couch. I won't lie, that was my biggest thing. I'd get done with classes, you know, like today. My hips, my legs were killing me. One, from the workout that I did last week. Then two, from walking on the range, carrying steel back and forth, moving barrels around, just all the way around. It, it, they were hurting, I'm not gonna lie. And I sat there for, well, for a while this morning, contemplating even going into the gym. But this is something that is, is gonna be key no matter what happens. And the reason I like to have the physical fitness as one of kind of the guidelines for our stuff is you never know what's going to happen. Somebody might be close enough to you where you can't get your gun out and you've got to grapple and struggle with them to either get them off of you or keep them away from your gun. And if you're not conditioned and you're not in good shape, it's going to be hard. Believe me, it will be hard. I've gone in and done some MMA stuff before and I was power lifting. I was kind of big. I really didn't do the conditioning like I needed to to be able to move into MMA. And, you know, it, I did not last long. I was getting gassed very quickly. But I could even tell a difference just after last week of doing some good training and some good conditioning. This weekend was so much more easier. I wasn't huffing and puffing as much. You know, I wasn't struggling getting around. I wouldn't have to sit down and stretch a little bit here and there. So get out. Do some physical training. If it's just walking up your road for a mile and walking back, so be it. If it's standing up in your den doing lunges, body squats, push-ups, sit-ups, something is better than nothing. Kettlebells are very cheap. I know tons of ways to do a full body kettlebell workout with just one kettlebell. It can be done, but you have to be wanting to do it. And right now, I'm wanting to do it. I'm not going to plan on being this heavy ever again. So I hope this motivates some of you to get out and do something. If you ever have any questions about this stuff, feel free to reach out to me. You know, if it's past my knowledge, I'll refer you over to Mickey at Get Right. But please, please, please get out and do something. Or stay in the house and do something. Anything is better than nothing. So I hope Again, this puts a little bit of motivation in everybody. Uh, a couple of reminders for everyone. We've got our end of the summer sale going on through August 31st. All classes and seminars are 35% off. So please take the time to go in and check that out as well. I'm gonna be adding more classes to the schedule. I'm gonna be adding more stuff through the week for people that work on the weekends. And I'm also gonna be adding in some skill builders and there'll be a description of that stuff up on the website as well. So I'm getting plenty of options out there for everybody to get some training and more things are coming. More things are coming. We've got a lot of great training options and a lot of things coming. So definitely keep watching the YouTube page, keep watching the website, the Facebook page, Instagram. That's where I'm going to be posting everything. And I definitely want to thank all my subscribers, all my sponsors. I wouldn't be anywhere where I'm at right now without you guys. So. Huge thank you to all of you out there. Thanks to everybody for watching. Please keep spreading the word. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below because we've got a lot of great videos getting ready to come out. I'm going to be posting some videos of me working out as well and then a few other things. So stay on the watch. We've got great things coming. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.